列车往下山。Did you know there is a museum in Taipei, Taiwan, that houses a collection of almost 700,000 pieces of artifacts and artworks? Originally established as the Palace Museum in the Forbidden City in China, some of the collection was relocated to what is now the National Palace Museum in Taipei, Taiwan. To avoid being placed into the hands of an invading Japanese army, which was escalated through World War II. In today's video, I would like to talk about three reasons why you should visit the National Palace Museum in Taipei, Taiwan. Let's get to this. As mentioned previously, the National Palace Museum shares its roots with the Palace Museum of Beijing, established as the Palace Museum in the Forbidden City. The building itself is impressive. When you enter, you are greeted by an elegant gate, but be prepared for the long walk and steps to the entrance. It is well worth it. In the building, there are four floors and a basement. Each floor houses different collections and changing exhibitions. With a collection of nearly 700,000 artifacts, there really is so much to see. However, you won't expect to see them all as the museum only displays a small fraction of the collection at any given time. You can see objects from jade, bronze, painting and calligraphy, ceramics and Buddhist sculpture, all from different dynasties. A lot of the items on display are breathtakingly old, spanning 8,000 years. For me, 
they are priceless and precious, like treasure glistening in this majestic building. What I like about the display is the attention to how the objects are displayed. Unlike some museums in the West where items fill each and every corner of a room, here at the National Palace Museum objects have been carefully placed to allow plenty of space to be admired in all its splendour. If you are an artist, like a painter, sculptor, or anyone pursuing art, I would definitely recommend visiting the National Palace Museum for inspiration. Even if you're not an artist, but someone who enjoys seeing art, this place is well worth the visit. What really inspired me is the attention to detail and the craftsmanship within these artifacts. It's out of this world. The skill these creators possessed is mesmerizing. The ability to shape materials like bronze, jade, ceramics, calligraphy, and painting. Eastern philosophy runs deep within these objects. I heard stories of calligraphers thinking about their body actions, determining the creation of language characters, all unique to each individual. If you like this video, and would like to watch more videos like this. You are welcome to subscribe to my channel. My name is Martin Harmon. I'm an artist based in the UK. And in this channel, you'll find videos ranging from educational art related topics, my views about the art world, the making of my artworks, art movies, and much more. Have you been to the National Palace Museum in Taipei, Taiwan? What was your experience like? It'll be interesting to know in the comments below. If you like this video, feel free to give it a good thumbs up. Human beings have so much to offer. They can use their talent to create, but also to unfortunately destroy. Like the dynasties that has passed, emperors vowed to take to the grave the craftsmen and their treasure to lay secret this knowledge. I wonder about the future of these objects. Will they remain in the same space for years to come? Where will they be in 1,000 years' time? What stories will people tell of them? Can they continue to teach us about the past and lead us into the future? Only, Only time, time will tell. Will tell.